Top Biz. A very warm welcome to you all. Myself Monisha and in this video I am going to throw some light on the ethical marketing of medicines in India. Since ages or since the time the pharmaceutical industry exists it is unable to avoid the allegations of being indulged in the unethical practices concerning the marketing of medicines around the world the unethical marketing practices of medicines not only affect the general public but also the regulatory authorities face tough times in controlling such activities one of the highlighted areas of unethical practices in the field of medicine is the questionable communication channel between the pharmaceutical companies as well as the medical practitioners India also is not devoid of such practices the draft pharmaceutical policy of 2017 published by government of india itself stated that the pharma companies indulged in the unethical practices in the manner that they lured the medical practitioners to recommend their brands in lieu of expensive trips and other gift hampers the cost of these perquisites enjoyed by the practitioners is finally borne by the ultimate user of these medicines that is patient Currently there is absence of any laws that regulates the process of branding and marketing of the medicines by the pharma companies in front of the medical practitioners only the ethical guidelines issued by the Indian Medical Council Professional Conduct Etiquette and Ethics Regulations 2002 plays some role in the regulation of such unethical practices the aforesaid regulations also restrict the doctors to accept any kind of perquisites such as travel or gifts from the pharma companies however the primary legislation which regulates the medical industry that is the drugs and cosmetics act of 1940 does not lay down any regulation on the conduct of the pharma companies some of the consumer protection legislation in the country such as the consumer protection act 1986 now consumer protection act 2019 and the drugs and magic remedies objectionable advertisement act 1954 and rules 1955 also deals with the misleading advertisement of the medicines but do not pay any attention towards the pharma company medical practitioner relationship It is pertinent to notice that the government has turned a blind eye to this problem in lieu of the increasing complaints of unethical marketing practices followed by pharma companies the department of pharmaceuticals had launched the uniform code of pharmaceutical marketing practices that is UCPMP in the year 2011 modified in the year 2014 The basic intent behind UCPMP code was to control the pharma industry in its interaction with medical practitioners. Since UCPMP was voluntary in nature, hence it leads to its non-binding. On the positive side there are number of pharma companies who are proudly ethical in their communication with the medical practitioners many pharma companies have also put in place exhaustive internal guidelines and robust internal mechanism guiding the interaction of their medical representatives or marketing personnel with the medical practitioners further a good number of medical practitioners also value such ethical practices in those cases the medical practitioner prescribes medicine from only those pharma companies whose quality is dependable the indian government is also taking such mal practices in the medical field very seriously and is thinking to give legal status to ucpmp thereby making it binding the guidelines illustrated in ucpmp is the most similar to the us physicians payment sunshine act which is active in letter as well as spirit it is interesting to notice that the enforcement of the sunshine act by the us authorities has resulted in the collection of fines of hundreds of millions of dollars from some pharma companies Conversion of UCPMP into an abiding law would certainly help to control the rampant quid pro quo arrangements that is very much prominent today between pharma companies and medical practitioners. Moreover, the pharma companies which are currently engaged in unethical practices will be bound to reevaluate their sales and marketing strategies and comply with the aforesaid regulations or they'll have to face the legal consequences thereby hampering their brand and the business. In the meanwhile the pharma companies leading the Indian market shall lead by their example 
for all other companies and must take voluntary responsibility to follow the guidelines of UCPMB in letter as well as spirit. All pharma industry associations shall also adopt UCPMB and direct their members to do so as well as comply with the provisions of UCPMB at all the costs. Such initiative will go a long way in developing a sense of confidence amongst the government and patient groups. Within the medical industry, the consumer facing and drug manufacturing organizations play a prominent role, the ignorance or exploitation of which can put customers and patients at risk in the process. The traditional approach. It is the role of the sales representatives to lead the promotions and marketing of new pharmaceutical products. This ensures that the healthcare community is well informed about the benefits of the medical products in concern. However, it is the market trend that the sales executives only elaborate the positive features while ignoring the negative ones. Government all across the world have introduced many such regulations in the past few years, thereby putting pharmaceutical organizations under the obligations of choosing patients over profits. The marketing teams of the pharma company shall be traditional in their approach and should be mindful of ethical behavior when it comes to marketing of medical products and services. Achieving Ethical Pharmaceutical Marketing the pharma companies which adhere to the regulations may also face certain risk. Therefore, it is recommended to follow a set of general principles ensuring that the marketing is always ethical, thereby not losing any trust among the patients. Following are some of the ethics, ethical considerations or ideas which may prove beneficial for promoting and marketing pharmaceutical products. Employees training on laws and regulations. The pharma company shall be well aware of the laws present within the pharmaceutical industries and therefore the employees will also need to know them inside out. The stated regulations and guidelines will ensure that the company's key personnel are already trained on the appropriate laws, regulations and code of conduct. It should be the standard practice to educate all the marketing employees on these regulations and have regular training and refresher sessions. Taking consent before conducting direct marketing. It is general practice that the organizations need consent before directly marketing it to the individuals. It is prominent to ensure that the organization is respecting the privacy and preferences of the recipient of such marketing communication and shall operate in an ethical and culturally sensitive manner. The audiences must always be approached in a non-intrusive manner. Fair and true disclosure. In the pharmaceutical industries, the disclosure of key information should be fair as well as complete in all the manner. Organizations must ensure full transparency with their products and services such as disclosing the complete range of potential side effects and the result of the clinical trials or the actual receipts through various sign-ups on their websites, etc. Also, marketing messages shall not be disguised for something else. This would be unethical in any way. Partnership rather than selling. Driving sales of products or services through the traditional field sales representatives armed with freebies, free travel or other perquisites will not work now. The entire pharmaceutical industry needs to revive its dishonest image and do more things efficiently and effectively. Pharma companies must adopt a more partner-centric approach with physicians, manufacturers and service providers rather than a mere sales model. There should be emphasis that a more natural communication and relationship is built among two individuals who are seemingly on the same wavelength. Adopting an inbound marketing approach The concept of inbound marketing is the complete opposite of having salesperson visit prospects to make sales. It consists of creating informational content to educate and inform audiences with the view of adding certain value. In this manner, the medical or pharma community can find key products and service information on their own. On the other hand, the pharma company achieves brand awareness and an opportunity to develop sales leads at a future date. Keeping up-to-date data 
large pharmaceutical companies possess large marketing and sales databases however many times these databases are out of date and in need of updating the role of the data manager is to timely compile organize and present data poor data will produce poor marketing results ensuring that the crm which is the lifeline of all the marketing and ethical activities is also kept up to date engagement within digital communities online communities and networks provide the perfect setting for building communications and brand awareness amongst prospects peers and patients social media platforms forums and other online communities which provide the opportunity for companies to communicate their ethical practices and relevant content shall not be neglected creating a people brand Customers' loyalty is earned through an organization positioning itself alongside those customers. Developing a set of brand values as well as brand guidelines is important for every pharma company. Restraining from illegal activities. Laws and regulations existing within the pharma industry shall always be obeyed. Pharmaceutical marketing ethics shouldn't only become part of the legal obligation, but the organization should also go beyond to fully understand their audiences, forming relevant marketing messages. Lastly, acting responsibly. Pharmaceutical marketing ethics are best comprehended through the acts of fairness, integrity, and responsibility. When an organization acts responsibly towards the market, society, and the communities it markets itself within, it will always highlight itself in a positive light. A pharmaceutical company acting responsibly through its marketing activities will build trust, reliance with those who reaches it for its products and services. Many pharmaceutical companies have been conducting the same marketing campaigns for the last decades or so. Now there is a need for change. They should rethink culture, tactics and ethics through which it can benefit the whole industry. That's all for this video. For more concerns or questions regarding the same topic, you can visit our website www.cobbis.io.